So welcome back to my session on experimental research. So in the previous session, I, I talked about uh, the meaning of experimental research, the situations when, when experimental research can be conducted, and uh, uh, some steps. I was talking about some steps of experimental research. And uh, in this uh, session, I'll be proceeding uh, from the point, the research process, the research process. What is the exact research process in experimental research? So I'll be proceeding. I'll be uh, moving ahead from this point. As you can see on the screen, uh, first you have to frame the research topic. What is your topic? You have to be clear about this. So what type of causal relationship you want to test, you want to experiment, you have to cl be clear about it. What are your research objectives? Okay, uh, you have to know about this. So what hypothesis or assumption you have for experiment? So what hyp hypothesis you want to justify or falsify? You have to be clear about it. Then you have to expand your theoretical knowledge by reviewing the literature. So after specifying the research issues, research problem, you have to conduct literature review to explore or to find out what has been already explored, already researched regarding that issue in around that issue. In simple word, what is already known and what is yet to be known? What are the gaps to be breached? For this reason, you have to carry out, you have to conduct literature review. So literature review expands your theoretical knowledge. It helps you in finding the research gap and after identifying the research gap, it will be easy for you to set up, to develop your research plan to bridge that gap. So frame the topic, specify the objectives, formulate your hypothesis, expand the theoretical knowledge by reviewing literature. You can prepare a resource proposal, research tools you can design. You can collect enough materials for your experiment. You have to go to the field, field visit. So in our context, field visit is classroom itself. In the context of natural science, field, research site. What is the research site? Science lab. Science lab may be the research site. In our context, our classroom may be the research site. We have to establish rapport with the authority and subject. This is ethical, ethical concern, ethical aspect of research. We have to compare the means of both groups. So after conducting experiment, okay, we have to compare the means of both groups. So we have to assign subjects randomly into match groups as will be more or less similar in each respects. It means we have to select the participants and keep those participants into two groups. As I told you in the previous session, those two groups will be the control group and experimental group. To know the existing level of the learners, we, ha we have to take a pretest in both groups. We have to check the answer sheets we have to see the result. We have to list the raw scores. So it, it, these are detailed steps, okay? We have to calculate the mean of the both groups. We have to find out the differences between the mean score of the both groups. Then we have to start the true experiment, the real experiment. So while conducting an experiment, or while administering the experiment, we have to 
create the atmosphere when there won't be any influence of the extraneous variables or the variables other than the specified independent variables and we have to closely observe the effect on the outcome variable or the dependent variable we have to complete the experiment then after the experiment we have to take the post test post test of both groups we have to check the answer sheets list the raw score and calculate the mean score of both the groups both experimental group and treatment group and we have to compare the researcher has to compare the mean score mean pre test score and post test score of both groups so while comparing if the researcher finds a significant difference or the gap between the scores of pre test and the post test if the results of the post test administered in the control group is better then the result of the control group the researcher can derive the conclusion that there is a causal relationship cause effect relationship between the independent variable and dependent variable and that relationship that effect okay is positive effect as i told you last time the effect may be positive negative or neutral zero if the introduction brings improvement in the outcome in the result in the learner's performance it is known as positive effect if the introduction of new method okay degrades the results of the learners it is negative effect if there is no effect at all neither positive nor negative it is what you call zero effect or let's say uh, neutral neutral effect so the outcome may be one out of these three it may be positive negative or no effect at all it is the job of the researcher to observe all these things all these things will be data for him or her and after that those findings those scores of pre test and post test should be presented very systematically in the result section and they should be analyzed and interpreted logical conclusion logical implication is drawn okay in the discussion section and a take away message is given in the conclusion section in the conclusion section the researcher also mentions the limitation of this experiment some gaps okay which are yet to be bridged by the future researchers so these are the things done in the experimental research so all these things are systematically presented in the research paper or let's say thesis or research report i have explained this slide already the effect may be positive negative or zero or neutral so uh, crashwell has uh, uh, presented eight steps of experimental research the previous steps are common steps okay uh, not specified specified uh, specified by any particular researcher or uh, theorist but these are specific specific okay steps uh, presented by crashwell so according to crashwell the first step of experimental research is deciding whether an experiment addresses your research problem or not whether your research issue okay will be addressed by the experiment or not second one is you have to form the hypothesis to test the cause and effect relationship the third step is you have to select an experimental unit and identify the study participants so uh, okay uh, who are your participants who are your subjects how to categorize them 
how to divide them into experimental group and treatment group. So these things should be specified. You have to specify your samples, okay? Your population and your, from population, you, have, you may have to choose the sample. And even the okay, samples should be divided into uh, what you call experimental group and a control group. So uh, fourth step is select an experimental treatment and introduce it. So you select the uh, experimental treatment or independent variable and apply that to experimental group and choose a type of experimental design. There are different types of experimental designs. Different theories have developed different designs. So what particular experimental design you are going to use? Is it your pure experimental design or quasi experimental design? And in let's say true experimental design also, there are variations. Okay, what is specific true experimental design or what is specific quasi experimental design or any other type of let's say experimental design you are going to apply in your particular research? You have to know about this. And after being sure about the experimental design, we have to conduct the true experiment. Okay. And uh, the, after the experiment, okay, you'll be able to collect data or information. You organize and analyze those data, okay, and develop a research project, okay, research report. So these are the steps. So in exam, you can mention these also, okay, because these are very systematically given here. And if you talk about the types of experimental design, uh, okay, there are uh, different types of experimental design like pre-experimental design, true experimental design, factorial design, uh, quasi-experimental design, time series designs, and so on. There are other designs also, or upon design or so on. experimenters or research or after design or upon create Okay, uh, uh, common design or Uzan Porsa, Sawaiko design than Neporsa Banyam Dina, Amro research could like Kun design use Garneo, experimental design with the types, Kun type experiment Garneo, Tusk Matani clear. So pre experimental designs are the designs in which okay, we do not categorize the participants into two groups. We may not randomize the participants. We just apply the intervention in the naturally occurring groups. True experiment pilot study type role. Pilot study got that. Basta makiola, the hypothesis formulated Gorno, soil was one of the same. Poila, okay, case some way it's a no method lagar as a poroni, take class, just do solid regosa, and you just see the result. Tell you got the idea answer, okay, for making the foundation. For the real experiment, you can take pre-experimental uh, type of design you can use. In true experimental design, okay, we apply, we use randomization. Okay, we divide the uh, participants into control group and experimental group. We take both pre-test and post-test. We uh, observe the results of both pre-test and post-test. We compare the mini score and so, so very, uh, I mean, perfect from of experimental design is True experimental design. Yes, Mate, experiment cat so by Kuraros, eh? Use Garinchi. Factorial design, Mate, egg one, the body say independent variable or introduce Garinchi. The researcher may introduce, okay, uh, more than one independent variable, okay, to see the effect. In quasi experimental design, okay, one or another feature of true experiment design may be missing. Quasi, pseudo experimental. Quasi, even go pseudo. Okay, experimental just to the kinet or a hundred percent experimental. Say, wait, they were quasi even go pseudo, chodma galgo, chodma galgo experimental. Yes, much experimental research that K in a K feature or common. So, yes, much randomization. Okay, subjects are not selected randomly. Okay, so one or another feature may be missing here. It becomes what pseudo experimental or quasi experimental. Okay, in time series designs. Okay, so the researcher, the experimenter. Okay, may administer, may conduct experiment, okay, not only one time, okay, Dif at different times, at different intervals of time. Okay, we participants or for a for a experiment goes. So research like body valid finding lines. Okay, 
so at different intervals of time at different time series okay so different experiments are taken and the results of all these experiments taken at different intervals of time are compared and if there is consistency in the result and it will be easy for the researcher to draw the okay concrete conclusion about the cause effect relationship between independent variable and dependent variable okay these are the types or you so pay detail ma garnu jannu parcha bhanne chaina maile chai ke common types haru chai i have brought here i'll make uh, those common types clear so it, uh, look at this figure so look at this uh, slide so there may be different types of experiments okay in experimental design so there may be true experiments okay quasi experiments pre experiments and non experiments kunai chai experiment nai hudaina non experiment bhancha so what are the uh, what are the features of true experimental randomization yes so there is randomization means participants are subjects are selected randomly and they are assigned to experimental group and treatment group control group yes ma uncha okay yes a uh, control over manipulation yes all these three things are done here okay that's why it is called true experiment vastavik khalko experiment yo quasi ma cha ke ne ke missing huncha okay so there is no randomization and control group there may be there may not be also control over manipulation there may be in pre experimental group in pre experimental design so there is no randomization okay there is no control group yes means so all class is taken as experimental group here pure class la experiment garinchha student la divide garidene je cha tei class ma chai hami intervention garcha manipulation huncha manipulation huncha aru chai hudaina non experiment jun chai experiment nai hoina okay aru khalko research haru in non experimental uh, designs okay so there is no randomization okay there may not be control group and there is no manipulation okay yo aru khalka research haru bhatra hamro experimental research ko tino ra category cha there are three categories of experimental research there are true experiments quasi experiments and pre experiments in true experiments okay uh, there is randomization there is the provision of control group experimental group and um, okay uh, let's say independent variable is manipulated control over manipulation there is control over manipulation okay manipulation ma control garincha ani extraneous factor or like any control garincha okay and quasi experiment okay so uh, there is no randomization in pre experiment also there is no randomization okay uh, let's say if you talk about control group there may be control group but in pre experiment there is no control group okay students are not divided into the, these two groups okay and uh, there is manipulation in uh, control over manipulation in uh, let's say true experiment but uh, uh, there may be control over manipulation in quasi experiment group and there is control over manipulation in pre experimental group okay now uh, what are the common designs common okay designs of true experimental design uh, true true experimental research aba hami एक्सपेरिमेंटल रिसर्च भित्तिक हम ट्रू एक्सपेरिमेंटल मैं ओके हमें बुझने वाले ट्रू एक्सपेरिमेंटल हंड्रेड पर्सेंट एक्सपेरिमेंटल टाइप ओके सो डिजाइन अफ ट्रू एक्सपेरिमेंटल रिसर्च सो द फर्स्ट वन इज द पोस्ट टेस्ट ओन्ली इक्विवेलेंट ग्रुप डिजाइन सेकेंड वन इज द पोस्ट टेस्ट ओन्ली इक्विवेलेंट रिसर्च डिजाइन द थर्ड वन इज द प्री टेस्ट पोस्ट टेस्ट इक्विवेलेंट ग्रुप डिजाइन द लास्ट वन इज द सोलोमन फोर ग्रुप डिजाइन So, what is post-test only equivalent group design? So, by the title, as the title clarifies, it is clear that the only post-test of both the control group and experimental group is made equivalent to find out the change resulted by the introduction of the change variable. So, try to understand this. Here, we do not take the pre-test; we only take the post-test. Pre-test, leave it. पोस्ट टेस्ट मत लेके पोस्ट टेस्ट अफ बोथ इंडिपेन्डेन्ट सरी पोस्ट टेस्ट अफ बोथ कंट्रोल ग्रुप एंड एक्सपेरिमेंटल ग्रुप एंड वी अब्जर्व द रिजल्ट टाइटल पोस्ट टेस्ट ओनली सो वी ओनली टेक द पोस्ट टेस्ट अफ टू इक्ट ग्रुप्स दुटा ग्रुप इक्ट होता मतलब स्टूडेंट सिलेक्शन 
उन्हर को लेबल और मिला रहा के क्यों नहीं सर रैंडम सैम्पलिंग और यूज़ करते हैं सो दिस डिजाइन इज़ वन ऑफ़ द मोस्ट इफेक्टिव डिजाइन इन मिनिमाइजिंग द थ्रेड्स ऑफ़ एक्सटर्नल एक्सपेरिमेंटल वैलिडिटी बोथ द ग्रुप्स आर इक्वेटेड कि ना कि इक्विवेलेंट बने हैं इक्वेटेड बाय रैंडम एउटा ग्रुपमा एकदम जान्ने जान्ने पर्ला अर्को ग्रुपमा नजान्ने पर्ला त्यसले रिजल्टमा असर पार्छ त्यसको प्रोपोर्शन रेशियो चाहिँ मिलाएको हुन्छ के ओके सो इन अदर वर्ड्स त्यो के भयो रैंडम सैम्पलिंग काम लाग्नु कारण त्यही त हो नि ओके विक स्टुडेन्टबाट यति जना एभरेज स्टुडेन्टबाट यति जना बॉयजबाट यति जना गर्ल्सबाट यति जना भने सबै मिलाएको हुन्छ त्यसले गर्दा दुईटै ग्रुपमा चाहिँ एकदम त्यो लेभल स्टुडेन्टको लेभल चाहिँ अलमोस्ट इक्वल हुन्छ इक्वल भएन भने रिजल्टमा असर पर्न सक्छ so both the groups are equated bhanya cha okay yo nai ho yo the post test only equivalent group design bhaneko yo nai ho it's clear uh slightly different than this is the post test only equivalent research design so unlike the first design the population is randomly selected and assigned to control and treatment groups but randomization ta huncha yesma but both groups enjoy the chances of experiment in this design bhancha अगाड़ी को मानसे एक्सपेरिमेंट से ही ट्रीटमेंट ग्रुप लाइ मतलब करें क्यों? But here both groups, both groups, experimental group and control group. In both groups, the experiment, I mean, okay, that treatment is applied. That is the difference. दूसरे ग्रुप मानसे ट्रीटमेंट को अप्लाई. दूसरे एक्सपेरिमेंटल ग्रुप माने नहीं उनसे. Both groups are like experimental group in in the second design. Okay. कंट्रोल ग्रुप छाइन भाग हो बुझ् को लगी ओके दुईटे ग्रुप 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 दुईटा बनाइ टू ग्रुप्स आर दियर तर दुईटे में हमें ओके एक्सपेरिमेंट कर सो वी अप्लाई एक्सपेरिमेंट इन बोथ ग्रुप्स सी हेर दिस डिजाइन इज मोस्टली यूज टू कंपेयर द फाइनल रिजल्ट अ ग्रुप दैट इज अस्यूम टू बी कंट्रोल ग्रुप अल्सो गेट्स द स्पेशल ट्रिटमेंट कंट्रोल ग्रुप मानी स्पेशल ट्रिटमेंट पाँच लाइक द वन दैट इज प्रोवाइडेड टू द एक्सपेरिमेंटल ग्रुप A post test is administered after the intervention. The final scoring of both the groups are compared by calculating the mean. Okay. अब ये अगाड़ी को रे इसमें फर्क क्यों होने? इसमें से control group ले treatment पाऊं दोइना. But here in the second situation, even the control group gets the treatment. And the third one is the pre-test, post-test equivalent group design. So this is the most perfect form of true experimental design. Because here we apply random sampling. The subjects are selected randomly. Randomization pani onsa. The subjects are divided into control group and experimental group. Chali jana chana mane bibi jana ko ratio mara akne. Okay. Before starting experiment, the researcher takes pre-test. Pre-test of both groups, and after the experiment, the researcher takes post-test of both groups. The mean scores of both results of both groups are compared, and accordingly, the conclusion is drawn. So this type of research, this type of design is called the pre-test, post-test equivalent group design. Do you understand? Group one equivalent only, but प्रीटेस्ट पनि लिइन्छ पोस्ट टेस्ट पनि लिइन्छ मीन स्कोरहरु पनि कम्पेयर गरिन्छ रैंडम सैम्पलिंग पनि युज गरिन्छ सो द सब्जेक्ट्स आर रैंडमली सेलेक्टेड एंड असाइन टु द ग्रुप्स अ कंट्रोल ग्रुप एंड एक्सपेरिमेंटल ग्रुप अ प्रीटेस्ट इज एडमिनिस्ट्रेड बिफोर द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड कंट्रोल ट्रीटमेंट्स अ पोस्ट टेस्ट इज एडमिनिस्ट्रेड इन बोथ ग्रुप्स आफ्टर द इंटरवेंशन एंड द रिजल्ट ऑफ बोथ ग्रुप्स आर टेकन एज अ मैटर ऑफ स्टडी एंड द लास्ट वन इज the solomon four group design actually this design was developed by richard solomon in 1949 tebra solomon bhane naam aako richard solomon le chai aaple aapule experiment garna ko lai athwa le chai euta model develop gareko okay so the research model this research method was developed by developed by richard solomon in 1949 so it is a combination of the previous designs we discussed earlier okay mathi gariyeko design haru ko dherai jasto mix mixer cha yesma okay mishrit khal ko design ho yo yesma chai ya title ma hernu ta four design bhanya chan four group design bhanya bujhi halnu bhayo 
the participants are not divided into two groups only the participants are divided into four groups okay there are four groups okay do it experimental group unsa do it as a treatment group unsa isma okay it has nothing new but has the combination of above discussed two designs the post test only equivalent design and the pre test post test equivalent group design okay agadi hamle padeka design haru ko dui tai combine gareko cha yesma the subjects subjects bhaneko hamro experiment garne student haru the subjects are randomly selected and assigned to four groups title ma four group design bhanya cha ni char wada group bancha yesma the two groups receive experimental treatment whereas two groups do not bhanyo dui tai group lai treatment dine dui tai group lai chai na dine ani pachi last ma chai result herne we see the result okay one experimental and uh, one experimental and control group receive the pre test but all the four groups get the opportunity of post test post test pani chai sabai le paune rai cha okay the design provides an ample chance ample chance sufficient chance of two simultaneous experiments at once the design is also helpful to evaluate the effect of introducing the treatment so uh, to make our research finding more valid more authentic okay rather than just dividing the a uh, class into two groups we can divide the class in three four or many groups and then uh, observe the uh, results of pre test and post test okay and see whether the outcome is the result of the manipulation uh, in the independent variable or not yes so uh, these are some of the common designs experimental designs which are practiced which are used in experimental research the solomon four group design the pre test the post test the post test only equivalent group design sorry uh, yes once again the post test only equivalent group design the post test only equivalent research design the pre test post test equivalent group designs and solomon four group designs and if you go through the books uh written by different writers you may find other designs also other designs also but uh, uh the common thing a common thing in all these designs are uh division of okay the division of the subjects into different groups they may be control group or treatment group introduction of okay introduction of let's say new treatment or introduction of let's say independent variable in especially in treatment group the control of other variables extraneous variables or intervening variables by the researcher and the observation observation or close examination of the effect effect on the outcome variable so these things are the uh, key things are common things in all types of experimental designs so the the thrust of experimental design is what in all types of experimental designs the researcher wants to establish the close relationship close cause effect relationship between independent variable and dependent variable Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you everyone. That's all for today.